Hey everybody, happy Monday friends. It's Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen, and I am so glad that you guys are joining me today. You may be catching me here on YouTube, or you may be catching me on Facebook. Either way, make sure that you subscribe and follow so that you never miss a thing. So we're going to do a little stamping today with something from Celebration called Ringed with Nature. But first, while you guys are coming on in, I want to make sure that you know that you are all invited to my 20th stamp anniversary party. So it is kicking off this evening. It is going to be held, let me see if I can find, at Stamp with Jody B on Facebook. So if you are not on there in that group, come on over, ask to join, I will let you in. And tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, I am kicking off my, my uh, anniversary party. So this month I celebrated 20 years with Stampin' Up. So I just can't even believe it. My kids were like babies when I joined and now they're grown up and they're out of the house and hard to believe. And some of you guys have been with me for that long. Um, so anyway, hop over to Stamp with Jody B. Ask to join tonight. It's going to run this entire week. So look for a video this evening, 7 p.m. Eastern. I will have a video that's going to explain how this party is going to work. There's going to be stamping, prizes, games, all kinds of cool stuff. And um, so check out that video and watch that and then just join me every day, July 11th to the 15th. The other thing I want to make sure you guys are aware of is we have extended the registration for our next Pampered Stamper Creative Escape. This is an in-person event on August 13th, um, a Saturday only. It's a 12-hour event, and it is located in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. So that's my town. That's where I live. And if you would love to come join us in person, that would be fantastic. But I know some of you guys are across the country and just can't. I do have to go options. You can get the entire retreat to go mailed right to you. So the registration link is below. So you can check that out. We did extend the registration, but we got to close it this week uh, because we got to get everything prepped and ready uh, for you guys, August 13th. All right. So let's see what we're going to play with today. So it is celebration, you guys. July and August is celebration 2.0. And we're going to play with this rings of love designer series paper which has a coordinating stamp set in the holiday catalog so here is the dsp it is absolutely free with a 50 dollar purchase now it is a 12 by 12 oh that's a that's an adhesive sheet there how'd that get in there uh it is a 12 by 12 piece or pack of paper uh but i cut it down for video purposes makes it so much easier so here are the beautiful kind of seasonal, like spring, there's autumn, uh, little birds, some houses, toadstools and butterflies. And then of course, like poinsettias for Christmas time, the holiday season. And then if we flip it over, we have got patterns on the other side. So love, love, love this pack of paper. I'm gonna especially show you something with these tree rings because of the bundle. Super, super cool. So that is Rings of Love, absolutely free during celebration with a $50 purchase. And then here is a stamp set called Ringed with Nature. So that you can purchase and then you can add on the uh, DSP for free. So we've got that stamp set now. Yeah. So here is the bundle. And you'll see it's got all these cool uh, circles, which coordinates with this embossing folder. So I'm going to show you how this works because it is pretty cool. All righty. Now, um, before I get started, I want to show you something real quick that I have going on. I want to make sure you guys are aware of my class to go class at home. So every month I have a class at home. July is cottage rose. So I have this class that is going to include half a pack of the designer series paper. Now this is a 12 by 12. Again, I cut it down because it's so much easier to see. So you're going to get half a pack of the DSP that you can use on your projects. It's beautiful. I, this is one of the first things that I bought. I just loved, loved, loved that gorgeous DSP. Half a pack of that. 
the gorgeous iridescent pearls. Love these. They're so um, shimmery, opalescent in real life. And then a roll of the petal pink ribbon. So you're going to get all of that and you're going to get these cards. You will make two of every single card. You'll get the PDF tutorial as well. So there's your first card. This one is a bit of a fun fold and a um, little bit of a technique because it's using the whitewash. So that text underneath there, that, that DSP text right under you're going to whitewash if you choose if you choose not to you would you certainly wouldn't have to you're going to tuck that dsp under and there we go little quick fun fold on that one um whitewash technique super super cool and very very easy all you need is a blender pen and uh the white crafting we did this with the calming camellias if you took that class then of course we have change of color here with soft sea foam and petal pink, just beautiful um, notes to self. <laughs> and there's your final card. So you're gonna get everything that you need to create these four cards, two of each card with the PDF tutorial. Now keep in mind the bundle is not included. You can add that on if you don't have it, or you can use something that you have at home that's very, very similar. So check that out, registration in the description of this video. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, that will end July, July 15th. Yeah, July 15th. And then I have a wow class at home coming. So that information will be shared on probably the 18th. I have a wow class. And if you are not on my mailing list, you want to get on my mailing list. So again, information is down below. So if you're not on my mailing list, that, that will um, sign up and you'll be the first to get the information. You'll be the first in the know. So if you hung in, in there with me, I always have to do the chitty chat, get all of the housekeeping out of the way we are going to create a fun slider card today. So here's the slider card and it just slides off like this. And then your card will open and you can put your sentiment on the inside. So let's see how to create that. We're going to start off with a piece of thick basic white. It is four and a quarter by 11, and we're going to have to put two scores in. So we're going to score at two and three eighths. And then to save myself from having to do math, because numbers are hard, you guys, flip it and do two and three eighths again on the, the other side. Oh, I lied to you. I totally lied. Two and five eighths. I read my handwriting wrong. Two and five eighths. I thought that seemed awfully small. Okay, so pretend that didn't happen. Two and five eighths. Now, I always, oh, bone folder, where'd you go? Um, I do put the dimensions in the description of the video so that you guys don't have to write, there it is. You don't have to write uh, down those or go back and rewatch the video. Just head into the description, scroll down, and you'll see the dimensions. And I will make sure the correct dimensions are in the video. So check out my bone folder. Look at that. It's new. It's from my friend Tamara. And many of us went out to Utah in June um, to gather together with Rhonda Wade and uh, the, we missed the incentive trip and we missed getting together. And so a lot of us went out and this is one of the gifts I got from my friend Tamara. So I love it. All right. We're going to put that crease right there in our card. So there we are. Just pretend these do not exist, which I'm going to cover them up with cardstock and paper anyway. So perfect. Now, the next thing, I've got all kinds of pieces and parts here. I have cut some designer series paper. And again, dimensions will be in the description. So I'm not going to, I don't even know what they are. Let's hope that she cut them correctly and that they fit. Um, yeah, perfect. All right. So we're going to attach our designer series paper to a piece of Poppy Parade. This is a color that I have not played with for a while. And they brought it out in this pack of paper and Poppy is getting to see some daylight. She has not seen daylight for a while. Do you guys ever do that where you go kind of, you kind of trend to certain colors and then there's some that are left behind. 
that happens to me quite often. And then Stampin' Up! will come out and be like, hey, look at this new color combo. Pacific Point is one. I have not played with Pacific Point for some time. And that one is coming out of, uh, out of the, the dark. And I've been using it a little bit more. Uh, but Starry Sky came and kind of took over. So here we are with these DSP and cardstock panels. Now, one thing you'll, you may notice is I have my card, my DSP going up and down. It's going horizontal. And then this one I cut vertical. Um, that's not ideal, but a lot of it is going to get covered up. And so I thought I'm going to go with it. Not a big deal. All right. Next thing that we're going to do is we need two pieces of basic white cut with our scallop contour dies. So this is what is going to create that slider that keeps your card closed. So what I did was I flipped this over on the back side and oh, please tell me, yep, we've got some dimensionals here. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up. I'm gonna eyeball it, but if it's easier for you, you could put a pencil line kind of where your middle is going to be. Okay, so we want to put dimensionals right where this gap is on the card base. So I'm just going to run a couple dimensionals. I'm using the edges because that's what's here. But your regular dimensionals will fit just fine. Okay, so you want to pick row of dimensionals on the back side of one of these. Now I'm going to peel those off and line these two up. And they should fit exactly perfect because they are the same die. Twada! All right, so you can see how now we have a front and a back. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of basic white and I'm going to get our big boss because I want to show you the super cool embossing folder. It's a 3D embossing folder and it's really, really fun, especially when you work it with the dies. So we need to use Big Boss here because Baby Boss is not going to fit. It's too big. So I just took a piece of white and I'm going to put that in here. And in between my two plates, my number three plates. No, that's not right because this is a thick one. Hold please, I'm missing a piece. I'll need these for die cutting. So what we need for the embossing is we need plate number one, then our, I don't know if I want that big one. Do I want that big one? I wanna see more of my little ones, I think, cause it's such a small piece. Now I got my embossing folder and I've got plate number four. That's the ticket kids. That's what's gonna make the magic happen. All right, we are going to need you, so I think you're going to hang out right here. Okay, so there is our embossed piece. Now, you can use either side. So you can see this piece is impressed or debossed, where everything is pushed in. This one is raised up or embossed. So whatever you choose, there is no right or wrong, dealer's choice. And I'm going to use the embossed panel. So I'm going to add this to the front of my scallop. There we are. Cool. Now I did ahead of time a couple pieces. So I've got all kinds of biddies here. I've got mushroom caps, mushroom stems, tree stems and leaves. So I want to get these out of the way because I want to make some uh, circles. I want them cut out the, I don't know what they're called, the rings. So we're going to grab this. Now here's all the dies. You're going to notice this is one big solid piece here. And then inside are um, in, in lines, outlines, and they're not outlines, but yeah. So there's the, the centers to make these like wood planks. So I'm grabbing this one for now. And here's the cool part. You're going to take your embossing folder and you can cut and emboss at the same time. So you're just going to figure out how this 
goes on here. Okay, so it goes this way. We're gonna lay this embossing folder or lay the die in the grooves of the embossing folder. Okay, so my cutting edge is up and I'm gonna take a big piece. Now I only need one uh, tree stump, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. Um, <clears throat> But I go ahead and cut them all out because if I'm doing one, I might as well do them all. So big piece of soft suede. And what this is going to do is cut and emboss at the same time if everything is correct. So let's hope that this is going to work. Like I have been doing it all week in my studio. All right. So we've got that gray plate on. We're going to run it through. <clears throat> and we take this out, they are cut and embossed. Is that not so very, very cool? Now, some of you might be concerned, is it going to um, damage your folder? This is how it was created. Uh, a lot of these embossing folders, when they come as a hybrid, die and folder together, <clears throat> They are created to be used together at the same time. There is a small etch in here, but not bad. Like it hasn't cut through. And I've been using this, like I said, all week long. Now I'm done with this one. So I'm going to put that back. But I need a little one. I'm going to get this out of the way before I lose anything. When there's all kinds of little pieces and parts, I get worried. Um, all right, so I did ahead of time, I used the die, the big die, and I cut out uh, one of the middles. No, I didn't. I used, which one did I use? This one? I used one of these center dies. Yeah, so I cut out a piece of white with one of these centers. Now, before I emboss it, I want to make sure that I stamp it. So I've grabbed some Poppy Parade. And I'm going to stamp thinking of you, no, just for you, in the center. Now, I could just leave it like that if I chose, but I do want to add embossing to it. Because it looks so cool. Now I need to find which one it fits. It fits this one right here, so I could just leave it totally like that. But let's go ahead and emboss it. So I need to find which one of these it fits into. Sometimes that's the fun little trick, the little game that you have to play. It has to be this one. Pretty sure. I don't know. It works with one of these, I can tell you. I know for sure. Because I made it already. Maybe it is, this is the raised up piece. Oh, maybe I stamped on the wrong side. That could possibly be, because I need to see which one it works with. There it is, that one right there. So I'm just gonna line it up in the center, kind of, whoops. I need to kind of pinch it. There we go, get you lined up in there. Close it, and now we're gonna run that through the embossing folder again. So now I have it looks like wood. Wood! All right, let's get the, this out of the way. And now it's time for some assembly. So let's get all our pieces and parts here. We're gonna add some adhesive to the back of our Just For You and lay that in here on this wood panel. There we go. Now, a little adhesive on the back side here to attach these greeneries. little bit down here. You could use glue dots, green glue, whatever floats your boat. Let's 
There we are. Um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add that with some dimensionals. So I put dimensionals here on those little edges so they don't pop off. And then we'll add our mushrooms. Now mushrooms, I think I'm gonna go with a mini glue dot perhaps. Maybe green glue might be have been my better my better bet, but I'm gonna go with I got glue dots here. I don't have I don't have any green glue with me. There we are. A little snot dot on the back of this one. These are Ah, that's not where I wanted you. Uh, Poppy Parade and Crushed Curry. And then the stems are Crumb Cake. Then ever, Evening Evergreen Soft Suede. Alrighty, let's get, let's put a glue dot on the bottom of you. There we are. And then let's tuck you, tuck you back there. Ah, so sticky. Here we go. Now, I think that looks a little floppy. So I'm going to grab myself a bitty, one of my little itty bitty dimensionals, and just put that right behind there. That'll give it a little bit more stability. And maybe I need to do that with the yellow one too. I don't want their little mushroom caps to come off. That could happen. There we are. Now I want to do a little ribbon of a little linen thread and we're going to make this a double bow so we'll cut two pieces off here tie ourselves a little bow another snot dot That's going to hang out right there. And there we are. Cutie patootie. Am I right? Okay. So now how does this go together? Just very carefully, you're going to slide those top and bottom flap and have that row of dimensionals right in the middle. So there's your card. Slide it off. Open it up, do something pretty inside. Mine's awfully plain, but this is just for video purposes, right? This is just a how-to so that you can go and make gorgeousness. So there we are in that cool slider card. Oops, that one's off. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, don't forget, check in the description of the video for my Cottage Rose class at home. That ends on July 15th. Okay, so you get eight cards, two of each of these, and all the goodies to make. And then, don't forget to come back, head over to Stamp with Jody B. Right there. Join me Monday evening, July 11th, 7 p.m. Eastern for my kickoff to my stamp anniversary party. So I am going to have, I think I have... 20 prizes to give away since it's my 20th anniversary, 20 prizes. I'm offering a special order special. I've got games to play. I've got stamping fun to share with you guys. So I hope that you'll come over and join me. And then don't forget, scroll down and all the dimensions for today's project are going to be in the description of this video. All right, you guys have a wonderful week and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook and come back and visit me right here next Monday 
for Movie Monday. Bye, friends.